Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode three. Stop spending every damn cent before your next paycheck. If I could go back and tell myself anything, stop being a brokey every week. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're on episode three. Episode three! (laughs) I'm so sorry. As you can see by the title, stop wasting your money, you scumbag! (laughs) Clearly, we're gonna be talking about money. (laughs) This is everything I wish I was told when I was younger before I got a job, before I started making money. I wish somebody sat down and told me what I'm about to tell you right now because my life would have been easier, debt would have been smaller, and savings would have been larger. Let's get into it. So the first point would be, do what works for you. So if you're anything like me, you spent countless hours scrolling through YouTube, figuring out how to make money, how to spend money, how to save money, how to become a millionaire, how to whatever. Just a whole lot of research on money. If you have done that, then you'll know there's a lot of different money habits, money tricks, money tips. But the one that I kept hearing being repeated the most was like the 50, 30, 20 rule. So apparently you put 50 towards like your rents, your groceries, laundry, whatever the important stuff. And then 30, I think 30 is like miscellaneous, like going out to eat or whatever. And then 20 is your savings or whatever the case is. Or like having the buckets, like rent, savings for trips, savings for rainy day, retirement savings, your investment account. I don't know. There is just so many things that people expect us to do. And I'm really sitting here like, how much money do you think we make to be doing all this? And you want to know something? I used to feel very discouraged when it came to money when I was younger because I used to hear all these things like, oh, you must be putting XYZ amount in an investing account and you must be putting XYZ account in a TFSA and you must be putting da 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 And it's like, okay. What about the people who have no choice but to rent and their rent is 60% of their income and then the other 40% is based on the basic needs and necessities and then they have no money left over to save, maybe like a dollar. Or what about the people who don't have a job and they're on government assistance trying to get a job and they're only getting paid, I don't know, $400 a month? And it's like, where do you find the money to be putting like money in retirement, money in a TFSA, money in an investing account, money into your business, money into all these things. And I just felt really overwhelmed and I felt like I would never be able to reach my money goals because I just couldn't see how I could invest the way that Robert Kiyosaki does. Like I just couldn't see how because the money just was not there. So here's what I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, do what works for you. Obviously, go read the financial intelligence books, go watch the YouTube videos, go to the seminars, do what you gotta do to get financially intelligent, right? But if what they're telling you literally cannot work for you, do what you gotta do. For example, if you're watching a YouTube video and they say you should at least be putting 20% into your savings, and if you do that, you're going to be broke and homeless, um, instead, maybe just do 1%. If you could just do a dollar, do a dollar. If you could do five, do five. If you could do a dollar a week, do a dollar a week. If you could do five dollars a week, do five dollars a week. If you could do five dollars a month, do five dollars a month. Do what works for you. Oh, well, here's the thing also. They also say, basically, if you quit your job or you got fired, have enough money that can help you survive for three to six months until you get back on your feet, right? Not everybody can afford to do that. Not everybody gets paid enough to do that. Not everybody has a job to be doing that. Like there's just so many things that are difficult for a lot of people to do. And I feel like it discourages people. And then they end up going down a spiral of negative spending, negative habits, and no savings and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I say do what works for you, literally do what works for you. If you can only invest or save a dollar, save that dollar and you be consistent and you be disciplined with that dollar a month or dollar a week or dollar a day or whatever the case is. If you can't afford to create a fund with three to six months of your savings or whatever, just create a a cute little goal. Say, you know what? I want to save $25 by the end of the month. I want to save $50 by the end of the month. Just do whatever works for you. Don't break a sweat or be stressed that you can't follow Robert Kiyosaki's money management method or Tony Robbins money management 
management method or your favorite YouTuber's money management method, it is okay because guess what? They're doing what works for them. And not everybody has capital like that to be having a three to six months rainy day fund. Of course, I'm not saying don't strive for that because that is obviously a smart and wise idea because you never know what's going to happen in life. But what I'm saying is if you can't save 20% and you can't save 15% and you can't save damn near 7%, do 5%, do 2%, do 1%, just do something. Just make sure you're doing what works for you and don't stress out about the things that don't work. And even another example, let's say you, you maybe you do have the money to save 5%, but you have crippling credit card debt and the interest rate is like 25% a month and they're adding on an extra 100 a month, another 100 a month, 100 a month, and you have to pay that off. That rainy day fund can't wait. I am so sorry. Get that debt paid off. Because what are you going to do with a rainy day fund and you have interest upon interest upon interest piling up? Hello? Pay off that debt. Shit. Point number two. Stop spending every damn cent before your next paycheck. Oh my gosh. Listen, if you're an OG follower, OG subscriber, OG whatever, y'all know that my first real, real job was at Five Guys Burgers and the damn fries. Okay. And listen, back then I only had one bill. It was my phone bill. It was probably $60 a month, something like that. And I was getting paid anywhere from $400 to $900 every two weeks. <sighs> if, if I could go back and tell myself anything. <laughs> Stop being a brokey every week. <laughs> listen, I don't know about y'all, but my parents didn't teach me anything about financial intelligence, about saving, about investing, about anything. My mom always said, save your money, save your money, save your money. But she never taught me how. Like, I never knew there was something called a TFSA. I never knew there was something called the RSP. When she said save, I was just like, okay, like, like, I don't know. Like, it never clicked in my head and I never was taught how to save or anything. So for a long, long time, I was just making money, spending money, making money, spending money, making money, spending money without saving a damn cent. And I only had one bill and then i go on social media and everyone's like oh my gosh like i have like three cents in my bank account until i get paid i have a dollar in my bank account until i get paid so i'm giving seven dollars in my bank account until i get paid i'm good that's not cute that's not a flex that's poor money management that yo don't do that don't do that like don't do that like honestly if life is just lifing and that's just what happens when you get paid like you just have so many bills or like you have so many basic necessities you have kids or whatever like okay that's fine but if you're sitting there with one damn bill and you make three hundred dollars a week or two weeks or whatever and you're not, e you're not even saving fifty dollars what are you doing what are you doing actually girl what are you doing like and i'm not even trying to page you i'm paging my younger self because actually what were you doing like i never understood the value of saving i never did like i just didn't see the point i'm like if i have it i can spend it like why not you know and i never really put my money into things that would grow <sighs> my gosh how can you how can you not make eight hundred dollars last two weeks and you have one bill. Honestly, it, it really does blow my mind how much money I was making when I was younger and how much money I didn't save when I was younger. It is absolutely not a flex to let your bank account just keep draining and draining and draining and then you have anxiety every time you tap your card and then you're stressing out about, oh my gosh, what if someone invites me somewhere or what if I need to randomly spend money I don't have money until my next paycheck, da, 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 da. And then you get your next paycheck and you do the same thing. Spending every single last cent that you have when you receive it is poor money management there's no reason to be doing that and if you're doing that because life is just that expensive you're gonna have to find out a way to make more money i'm sorry i'm so sorry about it if my younger self asked me okay how do i stop spending my whole entire paycheck i would say okay girl let's just say you get paid 400 dollars this week okay just take out a hundred dollars Create a new bank account. Don't even worry about all the other hard stuff. Just create a new bank account. Sign up for a new bank, preferably one that has some high interest rates when it comes to, like you put your money in, you get money back from them, interest rates, whatever. Create a new bank account that you don't really look at. Like make it a whole different like company. Put a hundred dollars into that bank account and then just leave it there. Just leave it there, even delete the app so you don't think about it. It could be $10, $25, 100, 1000. It could be whatever, do what works for you. Create the habit of taking money out of your paycheck as soon as you get it, as soon as you get it and putting it into a completely different bank and don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. And you just keep, you just keep going. Eventually you'll be stacking. Then you'll be grateful that you watched this video because you don't want to be like the younger Electra. You don't want to be like her. On to the next point, credits. <laughs> if the younger Electra was sitting right in front of me right now and she just got her first credit card, this is what I would tell her. Credit cards, they're not your money. You have to pay the credit cards back. 
and you want to know something else credit cards are connected to your credit score okay and the credit score is important because it allows you more opportunities if you end up wanting to finance or lease a car you could do it no problem if you have good credit that means that you're good with money that means they can trust you to pay back the car loan or whatever the case is if you want to rent an apartment or buy a house it's going to be easy to do if you have good credit if you have bad credit forget about it unless you got some hard cold cash forget about it so that's why your credit score is important and in order to keep a good credit score you gotta have good credit utilization okay so if your credit limit is three hundred dollars and you use the whole three hundred dollars that's not good for your score sweetheart some banks say use ten percent or less some banks say use thirty percent or less either way just use less than thirty percent of your credit limit every single month and make sure to pay back that credit card either on or before the due date so when they hit up equifax when they hit up transunion they could be like oh she good with her money okay and your score goes up okay and if your score goes down don't worry about it it's okay you still have time to build it back up what I would do, the easiest way to use your credit card is to auto pay your phone bill onto your credit card and then set up an automatic payment from your bank to your credit card on the bill due date. So you don't have to worry about it, don't have to stress about it, and everything's done for you. If you have more than one credit card and you don't really want to use both of them at the same time, connect one to one of your monthly services like Netflix and then have an automatic payment from your bank to your credit card on the payment due date so you don't gotta worry about it. So you don't gotta worry about a thing, okay? Next thing, do not close your credit cards. I found out the hard way that if you close your credit cards, your score actually goes down by a lot. And hard inquiries. Whenever you're signing up for a loan, um, setting up for a credit card, setting up for whatever, and they ask you for a credit check, be sure to ask them if it's going to affect your credit score because a hard inquiry is going to make your score drop by a lot sometimes, okay? Okay, get back. But like, yeah, let's not go crazy with the credit, people. Let's not go crazy. And my last point would be to figure out what you want to invest in. So if you go online or you read the books or whatever the case is, you're going to find out that there's so many ways to invest and there's so many things to invest in. You can invest in stocks. You can invest in bonds. You can invest in the SMB. You can invest in companies individually. You can be an angel funder or whatever they call Angel investor. Invest in a startup. You can invest in yourself. If Young Electra was here right now, I would say invest in what makes sense for you. I feel like the gurus out there they make it sound like their way is the only way and their way is the right way but they're forgetting that everybody has different situations different lives different goals just different everything just invest in what makes sense for you if you already have your career going like you're already making your money or doing your thing and you just want to make sure you got money for when you're retired do your thing do your thing RSP all day do what you gotta do stocks all day da -da -da -da. but if you're someone who's young and you really aspire to be a youtuber but you don't have a laptop you don't even have a proper phone to record on you don't have a camera you don't have a mic you don't have anything but then you're sending all your money into a tfsa account or whatever when you could be spending it on investing in your channel investing in your outfits investing in your mic investing in things that you actually care about things that you actually see a future for then what are you really doing like what's really going on i used to be bombarded with so much information on what to invest in, how to invest, da -da 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 -da. but I feel like nobody was really telling me to invest in myself. Nobody was telling me to invest in my looks. Some people were telling me to invest in, you know, my education or whatever, but like nobody was telling me to invest in my looks, invest in my clothes, invest in my environment, invest in my channel. Like it's all just stop market, stop market. me and then i would feel bad if i wanted to buy a tripod instead of sending 50 dollars to that tfsa or whatever it is okay if you're not investing like these gurus it is okay if you're not investing like robert kiyosaki it is okay if you're not investing like tony robbins it is okay if your investment plan is not like everybody else's it is literally okay if you want to invest in your business because you really believe in it and you're actually going to be disciplined and do what you got to do to grow the business then invest in your business if you want to go back to school and like i don't know school costs money invest into school if you want to be a model invest in a gym membership invest in your clothes i don't know invest in whatever makes sense to you do not neglect the things that are important to you just because some money guru said you gotta put money in the stock market yesterday or 10 years ago like you know like it is literally okay just to recap if i had the chance to go back and do it all over again or if i had a chance to talk to my younger self i would say girl do what works for you don't worry about all these other gurus and da -da 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 -da. of course it's it's amazing to take advice it's amazing to learn it's amazing to grow get wiser etc but if what they're saying doesn't work for you don't force it do what works for you if you can only save a dollar from your paycheck save that damn dollar and you better do that every single damn time
Number two, don't be spending every single damn penny before your next paycheck. It's not cute, it's not fun having anxiety, and it's not fun looking at the ATM machine talking about, oh my gosh, I hope it, I hope it doesn't look fine, I hope it doesn't look fine. We're not in that vibration no more, okay? Grow up, that's, that's kid shit, that's high school shit, we're not doing that no more. Third, learn as much as you can about credit, learn about credit utilization, learn about your credit card perks, learn about point systems, learn about everything about your credit card. Just please do not spend it like it's your own money because I promise you it's not. And lastly, figure out what makes the most sense for you to invest in right now. If it makes the most sense for you to put money in your RSP or put money in the stock market or do whatever, do that. But if it makes more sense to you to invest in your channel, invest in your school, invest in your hair, invest in whatever, do what works for you, okay? Invest in what is actually gonna grow and return benefits for you, okay? Now, ho ho hopefully I'm not, I'm not diverting anyone from investing in the stock market. The stock market is great, okay? I personally been seeing returns but I'm just saying if it doesn't make sense for you don't do it do what makes sense for you anyways that is pretty much all for today I hope you learned at least one thing from this video or you got reminded of something that you already knew my name is Electra if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit the like da 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 da, -da. I post videos every Sunday now apparently I don't know <laughs> so, sorry thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye